grasshoppers, good evening, and welcome back to the aspiring Proverbs Housewife series, where we teach each other, you know, we're having conversations in the comments about this, we're teaching each other about how to become the ideal Christian wife, the Proverbs Housewife. Yes, now's the time to prepare. You think this is a joke? See, people think I'm always joking because I'm pretty much a clown online, but this is the one time that I'm serious. You better learn how to sharpen up those cooking skills now, sharpen up your conflict resolution skills, because it's gonna be too late when you have kids. Okay, what, I, what we need to work on in this, this single season, or again, if you're, maybe you're in a relationship watching, what we all need to work on collectively as Americans, or hello, or hola, or sort of sweet, or what's another language? Konnichiwa. Whatever you're watching, wherever you're watching from, we need to just become frugal and just be disciplined about eating home and not eating out. I'm tired of tipping when people are rude. They're rude. I said, good morning, how are you? What do you want? So these are the ingredients that you'll need. You can write this down and title it Senpai Stamp Soupy Soup. This is what you would cook your lovely, mature provider man. We got a nice carrot. Start with ground turkey breast, okay? You want some macaroni. You want some, maybe some beans. I'm adding in cannellini beans. Minced garlic, garlic powder, black pepper. Just season your ground turkey, please. And to garnish at the end, I'm gonna use baby kale and a little bit of parm on top. You see, it's all about the decor. You know, because I think, I know someone commented, by the way, I see you, I understand you. Someone commented, you know, when you talk about this, I, I get nervous because she's like, I feel like I haven't refined any of my cooking skills because women are expected to be good cooks. I don't think anyone expects us to be good. I think it's just the effort that's appreciated, you know? Because again, if you're in my case and you intend on being a stay-at-home meme or you find a way to work from home and be happy and do your thing and be creative, the least we could do, in my opinion, is just handle this, you know? Because Mr. Kelly Stamps right now, he's out, he's probably, I don't know, at like the Air Force Academy doing things, lecturing a class, I don't know, in Colorado. So like when he's tired and coming home in the Land Rover Defender, nice car, against the snow and all the elements, and I already, you know, it's just, you wanna make a soupy soup. So this is a nice, kind soupy soup to make for your tired husband who's tired, okay? Um, it's romantic. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just, I'm literally just saying random stuff at this point. I had a lot of coffee. Okay, this is just something that I would do if I cared about somebody and they just, it's a hearty, nice, healthy, okay, shut up. Okay, so in the other case, what would you cook your hater husband? If you have a hater husband who's a 50-50 man and he's ultra extremist, you know, loud, annoying on Twitter, ranting about stuff and he has pronouns, you're gonna make him sauteed coal. I'll provide that recipe later, but this is for a man who does his job. To start, get yourself a pot, obviously. You're gonna want something bigger than this. It's just that I'm cooking for one because Mr. Kelly Stamps is allegedly now flying a jet or he's an engineer or something like that. My blue collar fictional man is not here yet. That's the point. So this is just me meal prepping for one. So you're gonna get some nice olive oil Okay, it doesn't have to be expensive. And, kitty, actually, yeah. Okay, did I say that? Just kidding. Because this might get really hot, we're gonna use avocado spray. It's a much higher smoke point. I'm gonna get that ground turkey and just pop it in there. I seasoned one side, I'm gonna season the other when I drop it in. I continue to season this throughout the cooking, of course, because it's just kind of like one big bulk right now. You know, just make sure that your ground turkey cooks through. Get it into nice little small bits. And then we're gonna add our vegetables once this cooks. As that's cooking, this would be a great time to grab your vegetables and start dicing them up and adding them into the pot. I just added the garlic to the pot here. 
Then you wanna add in your tomato and onion, if you like that. Then, go ahead and add your veggie stock. By the way, I just remembered, what really makes this soupy soup very soupy is the addition of tomato sauce or tomato paste. I don't use the entire thing because the macaroni tends to absorb a lot of the broth, so I like to leave that much for later. takes a moment for that to come to a boil. So then I come over to my cheap little couch from Living Spaces and I like to think. And now we go back to the kitchen. I believe my items have come to a boil. I had an idea and I just executed it. I just turned my oven on, I preheated it to 350, and I got whatever this is, some little bread, tandoori, mini, naan. <clears throat> Love this stuff, eat it all the time. Just kidding, I don't know what this is. It's probably like, I don't know, it's a vibe. So put this in the oven on the top rack, just to, you know, Get a little crispy, crispy. But now we're at the point where it's time to add the beans. Now, how do I know exactly when? I don't know. I don't really have a recipe for you all. You just have to watch this video every single time we cook. Okay, so around like, right before the macaroni is at a full boil, you're gonna add your cannellini, yeah, cannellini beans. I suggested adding it at this time because I don't like overcooked beans. I'm just gonna add in some. I don't like a whole lot, but add as many as you wish. Here's what I'm gonna do. Get your tomato paste ready. Oh, this smells so good. And I did a taste test, by the way. It tastes incredible. The important part is adding lots of garlic generous amounts of garlic. And I can't believe this, you know, I only started cooking like two years ago as a way of trying to just entertain myself during 2020. But I used to hate garlic because I just didn't know what it did. I just didn't like the way it looked. And then I realized it's actually your best friend when you're cooking because it really just made this ground turkey so delightful. Add in half of a tube of tomato paste. This is what makes it delicious. You don't have to do this, by the way. It's a preference. And you could turn this down since we're pretty much done. I turned it down from boiling to low. Are you ready for the finale? This is the ingredient that will take your soupy soup for your provider man to the next level. Yeah. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Check it out, check it out. Check it out. Took a bite. It wasn't sold like this. Behold, this is luxury soupy soup, but to complete it, 
if you want to be unhealthy for a moment. Garnish with some pecorino or Parmesan cheese. Just a dash, just a dash. Because we are making healthy meals for yourself and for your family and so on. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Amazing, incredible, 10 out of 10 execution. Good night grasshoppers, Godspeed. I hope that you perfect this recipe. I'll maybe try to write one out in the description. You know, try it at home, delicious. You know, if you're vegan,